Hello guys and welcome to my channel. As you know guys, this is one of the video of the series of video that I am doing here on my channel to create a drone right from scratch for the aerial photography. In this video guys, I am going to tell you what this TBS Crossfire Inverter Mod is, how to use it and who is going to use this TBS Crossfire Inverter Mod. So guys, if you are new to assembling drone, ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys, if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos let's get started so guys if you have recently purchased this tbs crossfire external rc module you might have got this small chip that came along with the tbs crossfire external module this small chip is called tbs crossfire inverter mod this is used for basically an old fr sky radio receivers which are not fully compatible with tbs crossfire high speed communication so you must be wondering why do i need this inverter mod basically guys those people who own sapphire sky qx7 x10s and x12 or older model of fr sky radio receivers this does not have a capability of communicating at high speed which is required by the modern tbs crossfire external radio receiver module which communicates with your radio receiver at around 400k baud rate so it's not that your TBS Crossfire external radio receiver module will not work with your current radio receiver. It's just that it's going to work at a slower speed. So if you lower down the communication speed from 400k baud rate to 1150 200, it's going to work just fine. It is just that your telemetry data is going to be a little slower. It's not going to impact your communication or controls. It is just that the telemetry data which is going to be communicated to your radio receiver will be a little slower. Also guys, if you are wondering how do I know whether I need this or do not need this, right? So if you are constantly getting some errors like your lost sensor messages, your Lua script did not work properly, right? Things like that, those kind of error whenever you are using this TBS Crossfire external radio receiver modules that is when you know that you need to either lower the baud rate of communication or use this inverter mod so as your radio receiver module is capable of communicating with the tbs crossfire external radio receiver at 400k baud rate now guys let us see how to use this inverter mod for tbs crossfire so like I told you guys before, there are two fixes. First one is you can do the software fix. You can set the baud rate to 1150-200 and your crossfire is going to work just fine. Lower baud rate will slow down the crossfire module and will be basically communicating at 16 milliseconds of update rate instead of 4 milliseconds. It's not that significant guys, but whenever you are working with high speed data and you need those telemetry information so as your Lua script can work at higher speed definitely those milliseconds even matter so you see it's four times slower than what it is expected to be when you are working with a full speed crossfire protocol so the first fix is if you do not know the soldering if you do not want to do the hardware mod you can just go with lowering the baud rate and it's gonna work just fine now let's go to the second solution so the second solution like i told you guys this is the chip that came along with your tbs crossfire external radio receiver and you have to do some soldering so as to be able to install this small chip onto your radio receiver if you are wondering why your radio receiver is not working at that higher speed is because you are using an older generation transistor which possibly do not support that high speed communication which is required by the crossfire module to communicate with your radio receiver so basically you are going to remove that hardware which is slowing down your communication speed with the external module and you are going to replace that module with this chip so as to be able to communicate at a higher speed with your crossfire module as you know guys if you open and solder this component onto your fr sky radio receiver module you are definitely going to void the warranty but if you guys know what you are doing and you have a good soldering skill i would highly recommend to go with this hardware mod instead of the software fix so as to be able to communicate at the highest possible speed with this crossfire external rc module so as to be able to use the full capability of crossfire so let's get started and see how to do this hardware fix and different type of radio receivers that you have. So here I have an example for FR Sky Tyrannis QX7. On the back side of your Tyrannis, whenever you open the box onto the chip, 
you will see this is the place which i was talking about there is a jumper pin here soldered on to the side which is your external jumper connection which is available whenever you flip this motherboard you will see a component called q400 here you see the q400 or j6 transistor is being connected as an smd on the back side of this chip so the location is clear right so whenever you see this jumper connections here whenever you flip this you will see a component called q400 you have to desolder it like this whenever you remove this j6 component from here it will look like this and then from the top side guys you have to connect this inverter mod so the inverter mod as you can see requires ground 3.3 volt in and out so here you can see using this resistance which is available here on your motherboard you can supply 3.3 volt and ground and then this jumper connection that you have will give you an input signal and output signal will go to the top side pin of this q400 transistor which you removed so ensure that guys you remove this jumper connection clearly like this before you can connect this you cannot have both these transistor and this inverter mod installed at the same time you definitely need to remove this this component called q400 and then replace it with your inverter mod once your wiring connection is done like this you can stick this using a dst or a duct tape inside the radio receiver and then you can start using this fr skytran is qx7 at full speed with your tbs crossfire now let's get started with the second model so here you have the fr sky horus x10s the same way guys you have ground and 3 volt which is being supplied by here c68 and then you have a yellow wire which is your input signal is going to come from this jumper connection here is the zoomed out view it is the third pin from the right you can see one two and three and then you connect the input pin like this and then here you have another resistor you can see here it is called q1 so this is the component q1 which was soldered similar to your previous fr sky mod you have a j6 component which you have to desolder after you desolder it would look like this and then this is the top pin that is what you are going to connect the output signal here so as you can see in the zoom in view this is the pad and this is the pad exactly same you have to connect the out pin onto the top side pad of this j6 connected component so that is how you connect your inverter mod onto your fr sky horus x10s now let's see the next one so here you have fr sky horus x12 so here also we are going to supply ground and 3 volt by using this capacitor basically so c205 is going to give you 3.3 volt and ground and then you're going to connect this input signal here onto these two registers you have to short these two resistors component r139 and r128 and together you have to connect this input signal and then the output signal will go to q14 where you have to desolder this component and then using on the top side pin here you have to connect the out pin of your inverter mod so this is how you connect this inverter mod to all these three fr sky radio receivers so this is it guys this is how you use this dbs crossfire inverter mod with your old fr sky radio receivers so as to be able to use your tbs crossfire at the highest speed possible so guys if you do not know the soldering i would still recommend to go with the software fix but if you know the soldering and you are good with the soldering i would definitely say go with the hardware mod so as to be able to use the full scale capability of this tbs crossfire so this is it guys i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comment please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies